Hello, 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 hello. It is uh, November 14th, 2023. Oh. Welcome to Heart Centered Marketing. Um, what a what an epic day. I don't know how your day is going. For me, my gosh, this is one of those days where it starts one way, not in a bad way, but then it just escalates. It just goes and you just are so thankful for your networks of people around you. And I am so thankful for the people that are in my network. And I left today's, I had two masterminds and left one, the first one with my Academy mastermind uh, in just grateful happiness and bliss and everything else. And then I went to the next one, which my coaching, and then it just escalated from there. It was so, so uh, incredibly insightful and emotional and all of that stuff. I'm so grateful for that. And I'm so grateful to have people like you, Lorna, in my world as well for all the help and everything that you do and for being here every every time that we need to do these on time and ready to go. So thank you for being here as well. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you, Joy. I appreciate being here. I really do. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, today, I want to talk about the uh, the Supreme Presentation Framework. And I know that you are very talented in copy and marketing and all that. So I just threw it at you today. As, as you know, we don't really prepare for these shows, but I gave you the Google Doc. And by the way, if you're watching this, uh, I will give you the Google Doc as well. There's no opt-in or anything like that. We're going to give it to you so uh, you can have this as well. But we're going to talk about this first. And if you are watching this, let us know by hitting hashtag live or hashtag replay. And um, love to know that first. Um, so... The presentation network or the presentation framework that I um, am talking about here, it, it just, I, I got the idea because in our Facebook group, um, someone was asking about a presentation, like how should I structure the presentation? And there's a billion ways you could do all kinds of things with frameworks and templates and all that. And Parmes and I talked about this a couple of episodes ago where, you know, how to actually use frameworks. So I want to preface our conversation today with that as well, because what we share, at least the way that I approach it, I don't know what your thoughts are, Lorna, but um, the way that I approach it is like a framework is a foundational guideline. It's not, it's not a fill in the blank, right? Even though the one I'm going to talk about today is me unpacking something to show what I, what's actually happening, but it doesn't really mean that you need to fill in every single piece. So what are your thoughts on on that. Let's give some love, by the way, to whoever's here. I don't know who you are, by the way. Just <laughs> if you can, if you're in the Facebook group and you can let us know who your name uh, by just giving Ecamm permission by clicking on the link, that would be great because then we can give you props, but I can't give you props here. I don't know who this is. So thank you for being here. One and Facebook user number two. <laughs> Sorry, Lana, I cut you off. Oh, no, that's okay. Um, well, I, well, I can tell one of them's Kali. We're getting yeah, love we and soul hugs. We know that Collie's here. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful that she's here. Uh, frameworks are a good, they're a guideline. And I, I, I like frameworks for when we start doing something because it, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. Like it's, there's something there. And really, for the most part, whatever we need is already out there somewhere. So using those frameworks can help us gather the information that we need to have it, but we don't want to be like just walled in with them. Like that's, it doesn't have to be that, um, that strict. Right. And yet when you get a proven framework, you don't want to really digress a lot from the main pieces to the framework. Mm -hmm. Do you, okay. So then are you, well, let me, let, why don't we do this? Why don't we unpack the framework and then we'll talk around it? How's that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That would be great. So this one here, I'm just looking at some notes here because I do have the, the, the Google doc up in front of me and where this all came from was, um, a, a video that I did many years ago and it actually wasn't even, I wasn't preparing to do a video, like a, a YouTube video. And what happened was I did a presentation, whatever you want, for my mastermind. And um, I just clipped out a little piece and threw it up onto 
YouTube. No, I'm sorry. I took a presentation and then I re uh, taught it as a video and threw it up on YouTube. And it went, I don't know, kind of viral, I guess. It's like one of the top videos on YouTube for me in Profit First and in on Profit First, if you look at that. And all I was doing was was teaching. And and when I did have it open, because I, I seized doing the, the um, opt-ins for it now, but for years and years and years, I had that open and I would get 60% easily plus, 60 plus percent opt-ins every day from that video. And there was no calls to action in it. It was not your typical video. And so Scott and I looked at it one day and, and, I, and I actually redid another video kind of the same way, but I still didn't know what, what, what I was doing. And then we unpacked it and this was the what we unpacked, like the Google Doc. It was like, what am I actually saying here? And then I read The Three Minute Rule by uh, Brent Pin Pinvidic. Pinvidic? Yeah, Pinvidic. Brent Pinvidic. And notice that what he was talking about was something that I was doing as well in, in part of this. So then what we're going to talk about here is a combination of that and us unpacking line by line and frame by frame what was going on in that video to actually keep people engaged and get them to opt in and get them in, um, excited. So here's how it kind of works. There's eight pieces to what we figured out. And then we can just unpack them each one. You can choose whichever one you want to talk about, Lorna. But the first one is what what is this and what does it do? What's the ultimate benefit of this? So I noticed that in, in the video, I was talking about like the ultimate payoff, like right away to this thing. The second piece was why should I care to watch this or read or listen, whatever you're using this on. And it was an extension of the problem. And I was also foreshadowing what was going to happen. And again, this was, this was coming naturally because this is just what I wanted to talk about. Uh, and maybe my ADD helped because I'm always trying, I'm always jumping around and coming back to things. And number three, the uh, third part was, how does it work? So it was a demonstration of the unique process. The fourth one is the proof that it works. And the fifth piece is, why should I believe what you're saying? The sixth piece, sixth piece <laughs> is what do I get if I buy this or watch this or whatever? Seven is how do I get it? And then eight is what happens if it doesn't work for me? So those are the pieces and now we can break them down. So what do you have any thoughts on that <laughs> first? Actually, we want to say hi to Mirtha. Hi, Mirtha. Good yeah. to see you as well. Hello, Mirtha. Well, my, my first thought reading this is this isn't just about the Supreme presentation. <laughs> I'm looking at this going, that's kind of like writing a Facebook ad. <laughs> it's kind of like writing a sales letter. It's kind of like writing um, this, a sales video mm -hmm. um, or <clears throat> so my point was saying that is that if they take the time, look at this document and use this, that it's going to help in all parts of their marketing. Yeah. Um, you know, that's because these are some of the key questions that you want to have in your marketing and um, can, can repurpose them, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Um, so... Now, if we're going to break it down. Well, let's talk about the first one. The first piece is what yeah. is this and what does it do? The ultimate product benefit. Yeah. Well, that, that's, you're, you're going to get their attention by what it is that they want to do. I'm not really sure what you want from me right now, Joey. Okay. For, for that. Well, your thoughts for, on it. Like if, if you were using yeah. this, how would you, do you have any ideas on how you would do like start a um a presentation anything comes to mind like whatever you're uh, or writing an ad or uh writing a facebook ad like what would that look like so i'll give you an example um 
one of the ways that I would start with this is what is this and what does it do? So let's take let's take Atlas, and I'm going to say, you know, um, what we're going. Let me show you the old way of bringing dream clients in with a funnel and then show you the difference between unfunneling that to bring in clients, like something like that. And I have to think more like a better way of describing that, but that's what I'm talking about. What's the benefit of me watching this right away? I'm saying, let me show you the old way of doing things with a funnel and how an unfunnel, if you take away everything and unfunnel, it will actually bring in dream clients faster and easier and better clients. Like right away, I'm I'm into the benefit. Yeah. And there's a. Well, I think. And if I'm not inter interested in that, then why should I watch this? So that's what I'm where I'm going with this. Well, I think that 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 part of it's a. Um, I mean, I'm just drawing on my other experiences in life that might relate to other people here as well. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone who's done speech writing, like that's your introduction is often just is comes from your conclusion. So that that idea of this is what I'm here to help you with. This is what I'm here to share with you. Um, and this is what you're going to have at the end is in the opening. Like it, I look at this and go, that's how I write speeches um, or talks is is often, maybe not always, but often. Right. Uh, but I, I think that it also helps us get clear on what is the ultimate benefit. Like if right. we ask that question, then it helps us know whether or not we're on track for the message that we're giving our, um, that, that we're giving our viewers, like what our, our readers, what, whatever, like whatever method it's in or our listeners, I guess, if it's a, a podcast, um, so I think that's just a very clear point for people to use when they're, they, they want to share that information. If I'm going to use it, um, I'd have to think about a good example for where I've used it before. That's okay. Um, so yeah. like, here's where, you know, it's kind of mm -hmm. like this where, you know, like most presentations will start out with, oh, here's the topic of the, of what we're going to do. And yeah. these are the five things I'm going to show you today. And that's okay. Like everything else. What I'm, what I figured out that I was doing was I jumped right into it. I was like in the middle of the action already. I was, I was like, here's the thing. Here's, here's what I believe, or here's the one, one of the gold nuggets I'm going to share with you today, which was like right off the top. It was kind of like, I'm not wasting any time. And then I went into, so here's what I'm going to show you, but I showed them the thing. Uh, very quickly. And then I went into, so then there's three other things I need to show you. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't the typical, this is the topic. Here's the three things I'm going to show you. And then a story about me or whatever, like, here's why you should listen to me and all these other things. I was just proving right off the top uh, that there's a problem that I believe, and then there's a solution. And this is what the solution is. Let me show it to you. And then I went back into um, number two, which is why should I care to watch, re-listen about this extension of the problem, bonding and foreshadowing. So I went into, in the case of the profit first, it was, this is the way entrepreneurs use or look at money or look at uh, their finances. And that's a problem. And here's the new way of doing this. And by the way, this is going to help you uh, pay yourself first. But I, but so I was foreshadowing, I was giving them the reason why you you want to listen to this is because you're going to be able to foreshadow or to foreshadow, you're going to be able to pay yourself first, <laughs> rather than all the stuff you've been up to right now, say you haven't been paid. So if I look at back at uh, even at the dream client or the Atlas thing I just shared with you, that might be. So if you take away all of the funnels and you take away all of the stuff that you're doing, um, eliminate 96% of that, you'll probably get more of your time back. And you'll actually make more money than trying to fit more stuff in to make more money, like something like that. So it would be a promise, but it would also be a foreshadow to say, wow, if I really listen to the next pieces, then I'm going to get a benefit out of this. 
So that was the whole framework. It was back and forth between this is the thing and then a foreshadow and then back to explaining and then a foreshadow, which is the first two pieces of it. So <clears throat> I'd be curious right now whether mm -hmm. there's any questions from anyone watching on what I, you, what foreshadowing is and why you would go back and forth. Um, I, I think you've explained it. But I'm just curious if there's uh, anyone who would want more, just more clarity on that. And, okay. you know, while we're doing that, I'm, I'm thinking about um, something that just struck me is that it, what you're talking about is really a true representation of thinking about them right. and not us. So as opposed to a webinar that, that starts that starts off with here's what we're going to talk about today this is what you can expect this is i mean they do a little bit of why you should listen to me but they do that early and like it's a predictable format that you know that likely yeah. there's going to be something at the end right that this that this presentation style as you said gets right into the middle of it like it 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 skips all of that um, and likely because the, your goal at that time wasn't to do anything except share this information to help people, um, which is really the goal that we're all here for anyway. And sometimes we want to get paid for that and other times it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, or we want to be paid ca in money, not one of the other four ways of getting paid. Um, so anyway, yeah, go carry on. I, I want to be paid within, with engagement. That's what I'm looking for. And so yeah. because there's so many uh, of the same type of presentations, I just want to get right to the point. And I found that it works really well, even if I'm not following this exact formula and, and pieces of it, even when I do Kajabi um, monthly stuff, it's like 25 minutes in or something before I say, here's why you should listen to me, <laughs> right? Even when I did the, the thing with Brian Kurtz, right? You notice that it was like 20 minutes in, 15 minutes in. It was me proving that there was something different about what I'm going to talk about. And that either engages or disengages people. Like, I don't want to listen to this. This is, And so I'm actually doing people a favor to say, I don't really want to know this or I don't believe this or anything. And then, mm -hmm. so they don't have to wait all the way through, you know, an introduction and stuff about me and all the stories to then say, this is a waste of my time. You know, that's the, so I'm trying to do everything for everybody. If this is for you at the top, you're going to want to l listen to this. And then they listen. And then the bonding, the, the foreshadowing piece is where they're kind of like middle, um, like mini stories. So I'll tell, I'll tell a piece which foreshadows. And so this allowed me, for lack of a better term, uh, this allowed me to spend more time with my family and not work weekends. And that, that thing is foreshadowing what's going to happen when they, listen, when they either follow what I'm asking them to follow, but it also bonds me. So each of those moments of going back and forth of foreshadowing what this thing will do or what I may be teaching about how to do that, is a, is a chance for me to bond and, and ins, um, insert a problem that they are having. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's, so, that's part of our, our, our connection to, to our dream clients and dream clients and training is to, I mean, to bond, but to show that, that shared connection and to show that you understand what their problems are yeah so that they're ready for the next part yeah so Kay says the foreshadowing is brilliant thank you it seems like it is driven by what the audience shares in response to what you initially shared uh well if 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 you're doing this uh live i don't know if it's with the what the audience is sharing it's more of you already know your audience you already know what they what yeah. what their problems are, and so you're foreshadowing. I'm going to talk about that thing too, or that's going to come up in this conversation without actually 
saying those words. And sometimes even if I look back at that converse or that video, I did say that. I go, we're going to talk about this later. I'm going to show you this. So it's it's not that you can't say that, but that's basically what you're saying, Kay, is you, you know about the audience so well that you can connect all of their frustrations to each piece that you're teaching and help them bond because you're telling a little bit of a story, right? Like number three says, how does it work? Demonstration of your unique process. So showing the same old stuff won't do any good and people need the new stuff. So that's what I was showing. So it was like when I show in funnel, I'm like, here's the new way of doing this. Or when I, when I share a, um, like an opt-in process, like, or a launch, right? Like a gift launch. And it's like, well, here's the way that a launch works. You got three videos or you opt in, you get three videos. But what if, what happens if we take away that opt-in and allow people to watch three videos and then put the, the opt-in over here at the end? And that's a completely new process. And people are like, that's new. Holy crap. And what's that going to do for me? Well, it's going to allow the tire kickers to still watch their videos and they get their dopamine rush and they leave because they're not going to want to opt in. But it also gives you a, a valid indication, right, of someone who goes through and watches the videos or not, but they get maybe to the end and they still opt in. That's a pretty, it's a, it's a higher grade person, lead, if you want to call it that. Yeah, I think the... Um... I'm going to drop different... the, while you're talking, I'm just going to drop the, the Google Doc in uh, <laughs> in the chat for everyone. So go ahead. Um, I, yeah, I was just thinking the there, there's a, a difference between the, uh, the foreshadowing and an open loop. Because it, it, at least in my mind, there are two different things. Okay. Uh, that's that that idea of we're going to get i think yeah i think there's a difference well what Is, would your what would the difference be i'm like arguing with um, you i just want to know from your perspective i think the foreshadowing can be can be done in a less specific way like it it the foreshadowing can be done in the story as opposed to, and this is what happens, but we're going to get to that later. Right. right. Um, I think the, the, and I'm, we're going to get to that later. Doesn't necessarily get spoken all the time. Right. Okay. In that it's, there's, there's a, it's just a slight difference. Yeah, you're right. If the language is direct and to the point or like directly saying, Here's why this is important, but let's. We're gonna, I'm going to talk about that later. Or I'm going to talk about that in the next version or next session. That's like an open loop, but the, and the foreshadow is like this hidden open loop, or it is more of that you're subtly giving a loop without saying it specifically, because for lack of a better term, might be. And this allowed me to get more time and time freedom, and that's it. And that you're bonded because that's what the person wants. And they're like, okay, cool. And then you go in and then maybe 15 minutes later, 10 minutes later, you're like, so, and remember when I told you that other thing that gave me more time freedom, this is how it, how it happened. And they're, they connect it to and like, oh, wow. And as soon as they, that happens the very first time, and maybe even by the second time, now they're trusting you. So everything you say after that, they're going to like buy in even more. They're going to lean in because you've, you've given them proof of everything that you've said without actually saying and i'm going to prove it to you like you don't you could say all these things right but it just you just come back to it all the time by by referencing here's here's how you do this and this is how it gave me that freedom thing or whatever it is i'm just using time freedom as an, as an example so i'm curious um because there are some presentations i've i've seen you do presentations I'm pretty sure, or at least we've chatted about them, about the idea of um, of doing the that, and I'm going to prove to you that it, that this works, or yeah. I'm going to prove to you why this is different. So, is there a place, like a kind of a a time and place, that you would use that in a presentation versus this style? 
Um, yeah, I mean, see, this is where it comes down to, like, I, I don't really, I don't approach things with a, a thought process, which may may be right or wrong. I just kind of do it. So I look at the audio because when I, I think that what you're referring to is maybe the Google Doc with Selling Atlas when it was, you know, here's what you, here's what I'm going to show you, or here's what you don't have to do, but I'm and I'm going to prove this to you, you know, and, and it just depends on the context. I just feel that when I'm talking to an audience or when I'm talking to my avatar, Sarah Struggles, I'm like, what is she, what is she thinking right now? And I don't even think that process, but it just naturally happens. So I'm writing to her and I, I just, for some reason, I write in that context. And I'm thinking when I'm, I'm just referencing the, the Atlas doc now is uh, they're probably going to look at this and say, this is, there's just no way this is going to happen. And in that Google doc, it says something to the effect of, uh, and I, I'm, I want to prove this to you, but the only way I'm going to be able to prove this to you is for you to actually get in the program and then the guarantee, which also is part of this, right? So I don't know if I answered the question, but it's. No, I think that's, I, it's just a, a different, it's a different time and place. And so would you write like this presentation style? Would you write it as, uh, would you write it as a written presentation? Uh, because you, you brought this from Profit yeah. First, which was a video. Um, so does that, would that change it? No, no, I, no. I think it's really great. If I was going to look at it from a starting point to write something, then I would definitely write it this way. I diff, I found it harder though, but to, to your point, it's a good question because when I, when I, when I created the, this uh, doc, or the steps, if you want to call it, I did try to write using this and it was more, it was difficult. It was difficult because I didn't really, I was trying too hard. I think maybe mm. I didn't know what I was going to, yeah. what I was really going to present. And I was trying to follow a framework and this is where frameworks and templates and all this stuff doesn't work. Whereas when I did this, it was just natural. I go, here are the things that I just want to show everybody. And I just naturally just, you know, set it. And then when I broke it down, I'm like, huh, I see what's happening here. And I kept going back and forth. And I think, honestly, as it, it, I mean, we're joking around about my ADD, but I think that it actually helped within this framework, if you want to call it that, because my mind was racing and I knew what I really wanted to talk about. So I kept on, again, foreshadowing, going back to this and then showing some proof and here's how this works. And oh, by that, because of this, let me, let me, this is what's going to happen. Then I would bounce back and forth, but I think it did it really well because the proof is there. The, the 60% the opt-ins were there and the engagement was, was there or is still there. Cause I see the video every day, um, the stats. So yeah, it's the first time I tried it, I, I have to be honest, it was difficult to write because maybe I was just trying too hard. Yeah. Well, and it, just thinking about the different, um, like people go to YouTube for something that is different than people who are, than when they go to read something. So it was just a more of a, like a curiosity thing is, is how much of this can we transfer? And like you said, with the framework, it's not like you have to, it's not meant to be like a set in stone. So sometimes you're going to change things around a little bit and likely play with it a bit <clears throat> to find the style that works the best yeah. for you and for your audience. Um, yeah. By the way, if you, if you have the doc, uh, it's in the doc, it's in the, um, if you're just joining us now, if you, there's a doc in the description, where you can see what we're talking about. And if you have it and you have a question about any one of the pieces there, let us know. And I'd be happy to answer the question. We'd be happy to answer the question. So I want to talk about, um, let me just see here. See like where it kind of, where the other pieces come in, because in, um, in my original video, I wasn't looking to like number six is what do I get if I buy this? There was no buy in. 
like there was nothing there. But I created this framework because it was about like, how do I do what I did with the first part of my video, but also move into a sale. So that was like this, this, like I said, there's a marriage between the two books, like between what I did and between Brant's book. And then there was no guarantee or anything like that in my video. It was just, it was just all teaching. So basically right up until uh, number five in this doc was where I, where was where my video ends. So you, but you, you did have a call to action or was that in the, vi just in the description, not in the video? Yeah, it was in the description. There was no call to action at all. It was like number five is now that the, when you showcase who you are, I think, you see in that, in the video, when, if you want to look at the showcase, it was more again of a bond is like, I am just like you. I'm an entrepreneur who has no, had no control over the money and all this other stuff. So that was more about me bonding than showcasing who I am, but it still gave me some credentials because I have an entrepreneur like, you know, 45 years and never really had control over my money. And when I tried this, this is what it was me. It would did for me. So I was still in that. Here's why you should listen to me. And then it says like, um, when you bring in the relevant credentials, so I got to go back and look at the video. I, I don't know if I gave credentials, but I'm pretty sure I did some kind of credentials, but this is where a lot of people get this in my, in my mind. I, like, I don't think that I care like who that this person is until they show me that they're credible enough to teach me something, if that makes sense, which is a bad way to really, you know, well, I, I think we're all like that, though, like to, to decide who we're going to pay attention to. And there's been I mean, I've certainly been guilty at times of going, I don't need to listen to this guy and then find out that he really like is pretty super smart. And, you know, I like think that they because I haven't heard of them, that they're really not that good at what they're doing. And then find out later that, yeah, they're really good at what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. But, um, so I think that happens, but I mean, I haven't watched that video for a long time. And if you, like, if you didn't do any real big showcasing, I think that the showcasing was done by a lot by the bonding. Mm -hmm. It was about, you know, I, my life changed when I did this, my business changed when I did this. Um, and I followed this. So I think that, like, I'd be pretty sure that that's there. Yeah, it, it's naturally there. Like even on the other video I did, which is the uh, the content multiplier, it was the same format. It was let me let me show you how to uh, how I'm buying back my time with like one piece of content to turn it into whatever it was, you know, 30, 40 pieces, whatever it was. And I get right into it. I go, here's what we're gonna do. Piece number one, you go, you go do this. And then I did maybe three or four or five and said. You know, and just doing these alone allowed me to do this or this or this. And so that's where the bond is. And that's where the, uh, yeah. this guy knows what he's talking about. And I'm going to continue to listen. So I gave them, I gave them gold, like right off the top. Whereas most presentations, you have to wait. Like you just, you know, let's get into it. Like what's happening. There's some bonding here and I got this. And then here's your, your rags to riches story. And again, I'm not saying that it's all wrong. Like I'm not dissing any of that. This is just a different framework. That's all I'm saying. It's like mix it up a little bit and see what happens for you. If it hasn't, if what you're doing up to now hasn't really, you haven't got the response, or even if you did get the response, just try it and see what happens. If you get more engagement. So are you you're using these in your, um, in your other presentations? No. <laughs> not not all the time but like when i think it's back like I, it's it's like when i i don't but i don't bring the document up and say okay i got this piece i got this piece that's not what i do however it's it's only because i've been writing for so long and it's kind of natural to me and it's not the perfect flow all the time but it's natural when i did 
you know, when I did the the stuff for Brian, I think it went off really well, except that he asked me at the top, like, do you have a slide and share you who you are? I'm like, no, I don't have that. I don't have that one, right? Because I just naturally don't do that. But other than that, I think I think the order of it went really well. But if we look at the Kajabi one, when I get to the part of like, here's why you should listen to me, I've already proven a difference and, and they've already had two breakthroughs, if not three. By the time I said, this is why you should listen to what I'm saying or who I am. Yeah, I, I mean, it, that, I, that certainly happened in the presentation to Brian's group. Right. Absolutely. Like, like there was, there was at least three breakthroughs before you got to that point. Right. And that's all I'm trying to do yeah. is like, I don't want to waste anybody's time and I want to make sure that the right people are listening and engaged and allow the other people who are not to leave or check out mentally, whatever they're going to do. And that's why this yeah. really, this works really, really well. Because, you know, you hear about a lot of presentations or even on videos, not that I'm a master at video or anything, where they say, well, you got like, like 10 seconds, or you got seven seconds to capture somebody, right? And when I yeah. looked at, when I look at the profit first, that's kind of what happened. Within three to seven seconds or 10 seconds, I've got your attention. Yeah. And, and you've, and you've separated them, the people like in that 10 seconds, you've, you've either got them or they've left and the people who left aren't the people that you want there anyway. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. So it, it, it captures the right people. I'm going to actually look for, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have the document here, like my actual uh, breakdown of it. And I want to look and I want to look at uh, or share what the first lines are. So it'll give us more context. So, oh, yeah. Um, should have thought of that first or before, but uh, let me see here. While you're, <clears throat> excuse me, while you're doing that, mm -hmm. um, you know, when I just look at the at the framework again, um, I think that you know what would be helpful for for anyone who's doing marketing. Going back to what I said at the beginning, like this is, these are the key components to a lot of most of marketing is, is that, that those can just be, those can be put into a, some kind of a doc or Excel spreadsheet or whatever people want to use to have those answers there. I mean, it's, it's like their copy bank yeah, um, of sorts, but this, this can help, help create a copy bank in a different way if they want like a presentation copy bank, maybe just to have those headings there and then just complete gather the information. Mm -hmm. um, so when it comes time to doing the presentation, then you can pick and pull from what it is, depending on what the topic is and depending on who the audience is, Yeah. depending whether it's video. Um, I mean, I would think that you can do, well, maybe the first five, and maybe even six, well, may, and all eight sometimes, you could likely do in, um, you know, if you're looking at different content, do that in a two or three minute video. Like it right. doesn't have to be a two minute video. That framework just condenses it. Um, I think that it's always harder to do something that's shorter than it is something that's longer. Um, so I don't know if that's, you know, maybe might not be, you know, uh, it might be a don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Until you've done a few presentations, because it's harder to write short than it is anything else. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, the, on the other side of it, too, <laughs> that's why I like using, um, you know, even when we look at the dream statement. And when I teach the dream statement, it's like this huge, long thing. And I've al I always get people say, wow, that's a long thing. I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't mean it's your USP. But it's, it's like, yeah. describe it and don't worry about trying to be so succinct at the beginning. And just just say what you want and then try to cut it all down later. But yeah, let's go, let's go to this one and I'll share a couple of the pieces and maybe you can uh, pinpoint parts of the framework I'm talking about here. So this is how the, how it starts. It says, okay, so the first thing I want to teach you and show you today is about the profit uh, first accounting system. So right away I'm telling them, oh, he's going to teach me about this thing. All right. And this is really, and so here, okay, so I've already told you what I'm going to teach you. And here's the, where it goes back to bonding or yeah, here's a bonding. So I'll, I'll read this again and listen carefully to the second line. 
Here's the first one. Okay, so the first thing I want to teach you today is about the profit, uh, profit first accounting system. And this is really important because as entrepreneurs, bond, I find that we look at our business in the general accounting practices, or sometimes we don't even follow those. Curiosity and foreshadowing. And right, and I'm like 10 seconds in. So you're like, what is he talking about? What is a general accounting practice? And why am I not following them? And then I say, and what that means is the general way of doing things is the old way before you learn this new one. This is what's called the G and P. Now I'm showing them the old way. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm foreshadowed that I've been, I'm an entrepreneur like you. And um, I, I am admitting that I've made mistakes, that I've done something wrong. And they might say, well, that's me too, maybe. I don't know what we're talking about yet, but let me listen, right? And then I show them the old way. I go, here's the thing I'm talking about. So that's within within the first 28 seconds I've I've given them insight. So, you could take the exact same thing. Okay, so the very first thing that I want to teach you and show you today is about the unfunnel process because it's really important as as entrepreneurs as online educators that I find that we we look at our business or try to build an online business using old marketing practices. And sometimes we don't even follow those. I know you have a little bit of the flu, Lorna. So like, oh my gosh, you're, you're doing okay? No, she's not doing okay. She's got a little bit of a flu, little bit of the flu. Um, so that's one where I'm talking about the, um, the, like the first part of the framework, let me go back to, let me see here, where is the, uh, where are we here? Go back to, the, too many documents open. Okay, so that was the first part. Like, what does it do? What is this and what does it do? So if you look at that, I'm saying this is the first, this is what it is. It's the profit first system. In this case, I'm referencing the video. And then the the ultimate benefit, which is that, um, it's going to give you a way to uh, do your accounting in a in an easier fashion, in an easier way. Okay, so that is like the first part of it. Let me just look at here. I just want to look at another one here. Um, I want to look at a bonding process here. Okay, so here's a promise. I'm gonna. I'm just looking at uh, the other piece here, which is like sixty seconds in, and I. Once I teach the old way, and then you can do this as well for your what you're doing. And if you're if you have a if you you're anchoring against something that is normal, then you're you're teaching it. Uh, you're showing them the the old way, which is I like to do this as well with funnels because I'll I'll show a a funnel and how that is normally looked at in an online world, and I'll show them that, and I'll and I'll show them the problem with it. And then I'll show them the easy way. So I'll go back into it and it'll say something like, now that we've, now what we're going to do, and I'm just reading from the script here. Now what we're going to do is turn this upside down so that you start to get profits right away out of your business. Now think about that because I'm just giving them an old model. And then I say, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this all upside down. So you start getting profits right away out of your business. Because if you've been running your business uh, just by looking at your bank account, whatever's in the bank account, and I go on and on, and I talk about what the problem is. That's where I'm talking about foreshadowing. And that's where you're actually proving to others how different your system is. That's where um, the proof, or not the proof, but that's where, how does this work? That's where the demonstration comes in. Okay, the unique process. And that is that leads us to number five, or not the, or the proof that it works is... Just use the a quick proof of the result that someone that you helped or that you helped how you helped yourself. So if you haven't done anything in terms of proving uh, anybody else you've done this with is um, how it's helped you or how you discovered this. In the, in the terms of or in, in respect to the Profit First video, what I'm doing is I'm sharing how it actually changed my life or how I discovered the process and I'm continuing to share that story with everyone. And by the way, if you got a question or let me know, um, yeah, 
sorry to hear that. You got the, uh, <laughs> a coughing fit. I know what that's like. So Lorna's a little bit under the weather. She's got a little bit of the flu here. She'll be back. Get some water. So if you have a question regarding this, let me know. I'd love to hear in the chat. If you're here, hashtag uh, live with us, hashtag live or hashtag replay. And by the way, if you want to join us in the Facebook group, let me put that in there. Let's do that right there. That's where you can join us in the Facebook group. Um, so there's, let me go through the framework one more time. If you're just joining us now, and this is what the framework is. One is, what is it? What is this? And what does it do? Which is the ultimate benefit, coming back to the ultimate benefit. Number two is, why should I care to watch this, read or listen or do anything more with you? And that means it's a, the extension of the problem. It's bonding and it's foreshadowing what the benefit of them is going to be or for them is going to be. And then three is how does, how does this work? So what I just gave you there in my terms is I was explaining how the old system works first, very quickly. This is what it means so they can identify with what it is so that when I show them the new way, they're going to see the difference like right away. And I do this a lot where when I show how I'm attracting dream clients and I'm like, here's a funnel, this is what it looks like. And here's why I, I unfunnel this. This is why I tear this apart. And even on the unfunnel piece, um, it was where I'm showing them like where dream clients, where they live. And even when uh, I was on the call with Brian the other day on his group, and I remember him saying like, wow, because just the fact of knowing that dream clients live at the, at the bottom of the funnel, like instead of the top was a, was a game changer. And this is what I mean by you having a, a different approach and explaining, like showing them an old model and then showing them a new one with the, with this, with the old model still there. And that's what the, uh, profit first breakdown was the same thing. So I showed them the model and then all the reverse was one thing. Cause it's not mine. I mean, I just taught, um, I taught, uh, Michael McCallowitz McCallowitz is, uh, profit first because I just it did change my life and I wanted to share with everybody. But all I did was switch one little thing, but the model basically stayed the same and they can see the difference. And that was a huge thing. Lauren, are you back? Are you, you okay? Yeah, I think I'm fine. I am fine, but apparently whatever. I, I don't know. I, whatever it is. Anyway, it's, those my, coughing fits are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's been like, I've, I've had even two nights where I didn't like, cough all night so or cough for an hour before i went to sleep so i thought that part of it was over but <laughs> anyway it is what it is it is but yeah. i i just i mean we keep talking about brian and that presentation which is awesome but for the people who don't know who we're talking about brian kurtz is um like one of the best email marketers if not the best in the world he worked for 40 years for 40, something like that anyway, um, years for a company called Boardroom and did amazing things in email marketing before the internet even was, you know, anybody even thought of it. Um, and he, he has a, a group that's called Titans Accelerators that is a group for copywriters. Um, he says he's not a copywriter, but he kind of knows how to write copy. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So it's it's quite, uh, uh, I just want to emphasize the importance of having those different ideas, because when you can give him a different idea, I think it's an important thing to listen to. And Joey did that. Yeah, it, it was it was humbling for sure. Like, I mean, hearing those words come out of his mouth is like, wow, this is really, you know, I'm onto something here. And like you said, Lorna, so imagine if you could do that to someone who's been in the business for 50 years, 40, 50 years, who is, who teaches amazing people, who's connected to everybody, who's, who's sat beside, you know, the greatest copywriters and marketers in the world, Eugene Schwartz and, you know, uh, Gary Halbert and all these people. And then have them say, this is like completely different. This one thing here that was enlightening, but also the same is like, I followed a piece of this framework in that presentation. So it it obviously works. Hello, Facebook user. I don't know 
who you are, but um, <laughs> thank you for being here. If you are in my Facebook group and you give Ecamm um, permission, I can see your name and give you proper props, but thank you for being here live with us. All right, so any uh, any final thoughts on on this framework, Lauren, that you want to put into? Any questions or anything that pops up? Yeah, I yeah, I kind of likely missed a little bit for <laughs> when I was away coughing, um, but I, I like the framework. I like the idea of uh, of doing it different, mm -hmm. and um, you know the the uh, reading and listening to that uh, between fascinate um, from Sally Hogshead, and so it's some of the reading I've done with <coughs> excuse me, Rich Sheffrin. Like it, it's, it's doing it different and it's finding what is something different mm -hmm. and have that in there. And the more that you do the presentations, however they are, like whether they're written or video, they're long, they're short. Um, you, you play around with them and nobody sees them to start with, whatever it is. Um, the more you do those, the more, the, the closer you'll get to finding that unique piece and finding that one little idea that can just change everything. Hey, awesome. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And and like, I think, you know, I, right now, because of where, um, you know, if you want to talk about attention and that it's like the most valuable resource that people are giving it and not giving it, I think that we have to respect everyone's attention even more. And so this is, at least is the way I approach pretty much everything I do. This is where this is what I'm going to talk about today, not in that context, but it's like, hey, let me show you this thing right now. Like, let me get right into this, right? <laughs> Instead of the whole buildup. And it should grab someone's attention. Now, the downside to that, if, if there is a downside, I guess, uh, let's look at a webinar presentation or something like that. Pretty much like if you're if you're like 10 minutes late, you've missed a lot of stuff in my presentation, right? It's like you've missed a lot of gold already if you're just logging in late. 10, 15 minutes and you're like, half the I, gold I, is gone. <laughs> I remember the day, I think it was likely Ryan Levesque, if I remember right, because Ryan would have the longest introductions to a webinar. Yeah. <laughs> and I, so I didn't tune in one day till about 20 minutes into the webinar and I missed stuff like he changed it up <laughs> yeah well you know I, but I think it's also worth noting that we are in tune like when we're marketers we're in tune to seeing all those things over and over and over again but sometimes the people we're talking to aren't yeah <clears throat> so you know, don't worry about getting it right all the time, like right at the beginning, like just figure it out, like try yeah, this 100%. framework, try a different one, see what works. Like um, we can be, you know, a lot of us can likely watch a webinar and write down or even predict, you know, we could likely have a game on the side, you know, in some chat room going, okay, this is what he's going to do next, um, you know, and make a game of it. But a lot of the people outside of our world, I don't know that they're only watching the webinars that are really interesting to them and they're not dissecting them like we do. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. We're so involved in, in, involved <laughs> with it. You know, the only, the only piece that I, you know, I, I'm very um, adamant about is, is like our story. I know that the story piece is important, but um, I just feel that the, the proof of like why you should listen to me should come later rather than me trying to say up front. Like I can give you a little bit of groundwork. I can say, well, here's, you know, I made a billion dollars and what I'm going to share with you today is kind of how I got here. Whatever, like you know, that might say, okay, wow, this is, let me listen to this guy. But it's more of, let me give you my thoughts and where my mind is at and then show you something and then say, so if you liked that, which is not what you're really saying, but that's basically what you're doing. If you, if you enjoyed that, if you, if you buy into that, or I'm open to believing that, then here's who I am and why I'm telling you this. Right? And I think so, that's, that's fair. Yeah. Like 
people want to, if you do it, like follow that framework and you've got them in the first 20 seconds, they're interested. Yeah. And then you connect with them in the next little while, like they're, they're already deciding that likely you might be a friend if they're still hanging in there. And then they're going to just want to be interested in finding out more about their friend. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it builds up the, the trust factor. So I guess in some ways, like you might be doing the no, um, no trust in, no, I'm trying to think, how do we usually say it? No, no like and trust. You're likely doing no trust and like. I'm trying, no, I, I would, I would say it's, not- it's trust, like, and no. Mm-hmm. It's opposite, completely mm-hmm. opposite. So I show them something they're like, huh, or maybe it's like, it's like, I like that. That's kind well, of I'm cool. thinking like, I'm thinking liking you is oh. where do they, you know, if it's no like and trust, it's like they, they get to well, know then, you. They then like they you like they first. I would you. say they like first. Okay. Right. So then like, I show them something and like, like, who is this guy? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know anything about this guy. And then I show them, here's the dream client. Here's an, an avatar. Like, here's the difference. And then here's why the funnels, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, huh, I kind of like the way this guy thinks. Right. And you don't trust me yet. Cause I haven't proven anything to you. You're just like, I like, I like where this is going. And I like this guy because it's the way he thinks. Cause I've seen that a lot of times in chats. Like every once in a while I catch a glimpse and I'm like, this blew my, this blew my mind or, you know, I think yeah. the same way and you know, all these kind of things. So that's telling me that they are bonding with me. They're liking me or liking what they're seeing. And then it's the trust or maybe it's no, maybe it's like, I like him. Well, now I know a little bit more about him because then I go into like, oh, here's why yeah. you should listen to me. And then it's like, oh, that, I, I trust this guy. Hmm. Okay. So we switched around a couple. Yeah. So if you're thinking about it, would you agree? It's like, like, no one trust. I, I think, think so. trust uh, always comes late, the last. Yeah. It's yeah. really hard to trust somebody like right out of the gate. Well, then really, I think you, you want to, it makes more sense that it would be like no one trust. Yeah. Because you're going to like them before, I mean, before you know them well enough to trust them. Yeah. And the other way is, is no like trust, like you said. So like, okay, I know who this guy is now. Let me sit through this and see if I like what he's talking about. So you're either knowing more about the person and that sometimes helps, I guess, make a decision whether or not you want to sit and listen to the person or not. But if, and the way I'm doing it is, here's here's everything up front, right? Let, let me show you, let me show you the magic trick before we get into all the stage production for the music and all that. Here's the trick. Now let me show you the production. <laughs> let me show you how we got to the trick, you know? So you're like, oh, wow, that's cool. I want to know more about that. So it's a little, it almost comes off as a little bit of behind the scenes. Yeah. There's no, build kind up. Of, there's no, yeah. Yeah. There's no magical build up to it because then they'll sit through it. Like, imagine that, like, let's take the context of that analogy of a magic trick. Right. So instead of you go to a, a magic show and it's all, it's all production. It's all major stuff and sleight of hands and da, 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 and setting you up and, and, um, you know, getting you misdirections and all these things. But I imagine if I walk right on stage and I just go boom, 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 boom. I go, you're like, wow. Like there's no build up at all. You're like, holy crap, that guy, he blew me away. <laughs> like I like this guy. Right. And then the next one could be all the magical production and everything else. It's kind of like, so if you like that, watch this. And then bang, the whole thing comes down and everything else. Then you'll sit through it. You're like, I really like this guy. Cause I know that he just, it's kind of like you're giving somebody a gift. Maybe that's another way of looking at this. You're giving somebody yeah a gift right up front and go here, look at this, check it out here. If, if, if this is all you want for 20 seconds, you, you can go, you got something already. And like, no, I want to sit in and listen to this more and they'll listen to it more. And then they'll say, you know, who are you to tell me this? Cause I think people want, they want, um, whatever it is. They, they, they want something for their time, right? They want, they, they need something out of it 
So if you give them a couple of things like right up front and here you go, and you've made them help, they made them happy, you've given them some way to like you or like the thing that you're talking about, then they want to know who you are. That was cool, but who who are you? Yeah. Why am I why am I listening to you? I mean, it's it's very similar to the theory of your your free gift. Yeah. You know that you you want to give them a give them a win, give them a quick win. Um in some ways. And still also address that objection of why should I listen to you instead of one of the mm-hmm. other thousand people? Because you've given me more than what they have at this point, but I still don't know whether you're just going to be another one that sells me something and then disappears. Exactly right. Exactly right. So- there you go. So there's the framework. If you haven't got it, um, it's in the the description. If you're here live, let us know. Hashtag live. Thank you for being here live. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here on the replay. Hashtag replay. Just let us know which one of those you are. And we hope to see you on another call. Every Tuesday we do heart-centered marketing and we talk about all kinds of good, good stuff. This one has all been about a new kind of a framework that you want to, you know, try to try out. Again, this is not a, a cut and paste type of thing. It's just a an idea of some kind of a guide to help you get uh, some of your stuff in front of the right people. So thanks, Lorna, for being here. Any final thoughts? No, just my gratitude for the people who lived through my coughing fit. (laughs) And, you know, and I had to let Joey then just talk all on his own, which, (laughs) poor you. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, pick up, pick up the, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, what happened there? What's going on here? Um, I just, but, you know, I, a lot of times I just like to challenge people to, to do something within the next 24 hours. So mm-hmm. you've got the framework. What can you do in the next 24 hours? Can you do step one? Like, can you write something for step one? Can you do a video for step one? You don't have to do the whole thing, but I mean, if you can in 24 hours and go do it, Yeah. Um, but take one step using this framework and do something in 24 hours. Love it. Good call. Thanks, Lorna. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you again. I know you're booked in for a couple of them coming up before the new year. So we'll see Lorna again. By then she'll be a little bit better. Hey. <laughs> I will. I am going to be better. I am going to be better. All good. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next week.